Kuwait, with a population of scarcely 300,000, takes in close to $3 million a day in oil royalties. Not that these millions are allowed to trickle down, but to raise the standard of living of the people, of the Fellaheen or the Bedouins. Instead, oil has brought in its wake a new biblical curse. It has raised the price of human flesh. Storage tanks and pipelines add a new and modern decorative touch to the vast emptiness of the desert. But they provide no sustenance for the people who live nearby in hunger and misery and desperation. Water is precious, and the camel is precious. And to give the camel a rest now and then, water is drawn by slaves. These girls, 10 to 12 years old, are blindfolded to keep from getting dizzy as they take turns with a camel. The most modern equipment available is used to extract oil from thousands of feet below the surface of the earth. But water must be drawn by the effort of human slaves. For luckier children, there are model schools inside the palaces. The pupils pray before lessons begin. We are permitted to film the pupils as they come out of the royal school. More than a hundred, we are told, are children of the sovereign himself. Following them are the children of the princes and high dignitaries. They are clean, well-disciplined, happy children. But note that some of them do not carry books. These are children of the oil rich. Their books are carried by their personal slaves. Slaves received as gifts from their parents on their birthdays. Slaves who will grow up alongside their masters and serve as their personal gods. Most of these are children of palace slaves. And according to the law, they too are slaves. millions turn into automobiles from Detroit, parking lots, and traffic cops who direct traffic straight toward the desert. We travel along the edge of the Sahara to reach the Peus, a pastoral people once numerous and powerful, now reduced to a few thousand by mass raids of slave merchants early in this century. They no longer have any cattle of their own, the great herds they lead to pasture are owned by Arab merchants.